Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this, this I had to do. This is about to throw off my whole schedule because uh, it's funny. I, I did a video literally just like a second ago. And I got it all teed up and ready. And then I was just like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. So I like kept searching and searching my YouTube feed. And then I finally found something that I knew that I hadn't react to. That I was just like, oh, this is going to be good. Mm, this is going to be good. So uh, this is <laughs> the Proud Family. Louder and Prouder, which is like, a, it's a Disney Plus original. So a series is coming out on Disney Plus. Um, which is funny because... I just did the reaction to the Baymax Disney Plus like trailer and it's it's hilarious because I I should be putting this out after that but I'm definitely putting it out before I'm about to change the whole schedule in my YouTube releases <laughs> and push whatever else is out back cuz yeah no nah, I I got to do this for the culture for the family Everybody got to know that uh, we we getting louder and prouder up in here. So I'm not even gonna waste time. I'm gonna get right into this because I like the thing is right. I wasn't even like super huge on the Proud Family. It was something that I always could watch, but I have a thing with uh, with animations to where I don't really like my animations to be super grounded. Because I feel like that's what I would watch, like, dramas and stuff for growing up. Um, but then as I, like, grew up and, like, the, the superhero phase, like, really took off and, like, that caused, like, dramas and supernatural stuff to really start to trickle into, like, live action television. I feel like now as an adult, I can probably appreciate it a lot more. I always found The Proud Family funny. could always watch it, by the way. Before anybody gets on me and is just like, you really like The Proud Family? It wasn't that I didn't like the Proud Family. It's just that it didn't really vibe with me. Um, there were a lot of stuff that were good and bad that I uh, was on the same type of vibe with. Um, and I think that the series that best describes this is Rugrats and Rugrats All Grown Up. Rugrats, the imagination and the ingenuity of the baby has always made it really interesting to watch. All Grown Up, they're regular teenagers for the most part, like, I know they, yeah, they got into some shenanigans or whatever, but for the most part, they were regular teenagers, and it lost the charm of what made Rugrats like Rugrats. Um, shows like Proud Family, um, As Told by Ginger, I don't even know why y'all, whew, As Told by Ginger, Hey Arnold, um, stuff like that were never really on my radar, like, that often but which is weird for me because there were other shows that were like relatively grounded but they they were more ingenuitive like shows like Rugrats like I already said and then Ed Ed and Eddie those were the shows that were like they're set in like a realistic type of setting but at the same time the the way that they played with it being cartoons were a little bit more um, I think the only show that I really rocked with that was grounded like that was probably Recess. And that, like, kind of changed when the movie for Recess came out and they teed up way beyond what <laughs> they should have. But I think I loved... That actually might be the reason why that I, like, didn't rock with them so much. Because um, I thought everything was, like, okay, and then I saw Recess, the movie... And I was just like, nah, y'all, I don't feel like you can go back from that. Recess didn't go back from that. And now I'm just like, bro, I don't feel like my cartoons should be like on everyday type of level. So that didn't fly with me. Proud Family tried that, but that movie is trash. Don't care what you say. It doesn't bring any value to what the Proud Family was already about. Don't care how you try and like, don't care how you try and argue it that movie was not good y'all you can enjoy it if you want does not make it a good movie it does not hold to the integrity of what the proud family was about and it does not bolster the <laughs> the lore i guess if that's what you want to call it of the proud family which is what makes it bad um 
in relation to its source material. That movie is just that movie is just something else. It did not belong on the Proud Family. If they had done like one of those like Disney Channel crossover movies, that's what they should have saved it for. Um, Because I do think didn't they do a crossover? I I don't remember if they did one, but I know when they were doing crossovers heavy, like the Disney Channel crossovers. I feel like Kim. I feel like Kim Possible and Proud Family had a crossover. But if they had gotten another crossover, that that uh, that Proud Family movie should have been the plot, and they should have just had a crossover movie. Um, I know she Kim Possible had a crossover with Lilo and Stitch, and I can't remember what other crossovers it, well, there were. I feel like. Somebody crossed over with the Proud family that really didn't belong there. But I'm talking too long. We about to get into this Proud family louder and prouder. Um, yeah, let's do it. Because I definitely got to see if we got another intro. The intro, baby. That's a classic banger right there, bro. Don't even waste time with it. Y'all already know. Here we go, y'all. The Proud Family, louder and prouder. <laughs> Let's check this out. Good morning, fam. Okay, Penny. This is my wife, Trudy. And Trudy. Again, oh, wow. Why are you going to play your mom like that, Oscar? You can call me Sugar Mom. There we go. I'm becoming a woman. It's my job. Oh, wait. Okay, so she... She's still in high school, but she's, like, a little bit older in high school. Probably, like, junior, senior. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Whoa, what are we doing to Sugar Mama? Why are we doing this to Sugar Mama? Okay, all right. So we got some names in this. Mm. 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 They look good in this animation style. Coming February. Oh, I like this. I like this. I like this. The Proud Family Louder and Prouder, the original series, streaming February 22nd. That was actually pretty fire. I liked everything that I was seeing there. We got Trudy, we got Oscar, we got Sugar Mama, we got um, Penny. Those are the ones that I really care about. I saw Sticky and, like, La Cienega and... I think that was La Cienega. Like, her little crew of friends. I know I saw Sticky. Sticky! <laughs> where, are we, where are we going with this? Hold on. Is that La Cienega? La, uh, La Cienega Boulevard. I, for, I forget. Um... Uh, Zoe, Zoe is, the, is that her name? The white, the white girl, redhead. And then I forget like homegirl name that that's in the sticky. I forget that. I want to. I hope that's La Cienega Boulevard is, cause, bro, if y'all replacing La Cienega with some some random, I'm not here for it. I need me some La Cienega Boulevard is in the latter and Friday, bro. I feel like I saw her in the 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 one scene when they were at the school. Let me see if I can find that. I need to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, over there in that that right corner that looked like her 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 regular fit and look. That looked like La Cienega Boulevard is over there. I don't even know why. I don't even like her character like that, bro. My man, Sticky. I know somebody that look just like Sticky. <laughs> oh, man. I know somebody that look just like Sticky. <laughs> oh, bro. This is... This is... I think that's, that's all I really remember from Proud Family, bro. Uh, oh, y'all got... To put the gross sisters in this. 
I need some louder and prouder. Like, y'all got to put the gross sisters up in this. I don't know how it's going to fly in 2022. But, yeah, look. Don't nobody come for them. Them some classic, classic bully villains. I'm going to need me them. I'm needing to be uh, blue and everything. <laughs> ashy as I don't know what. Sneeze and start a fire, Ashy. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the Proud family was wild. The Proud family was wild. And I, I, I'm I, excited to see how much I can enjoy it in 2022. It makes me want to go back and rewatch the Proud family, but I know I'm not going to do that because I'm lazy and I got other stuff to do. So, yeah, guys, let me know down in the comment section what you think of the Proud family, louder and prouder. And, yeah, check it out, February 2022. I'm excited for this. Oh, and obviously, 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 (sighs) we got to get Wizard Kelly back up in here, y'all. Don't think I forgot about my mans. Yeah, you. That'd be, that'd be atrocious if you don't have Wizard Kelly back up in here. That'd be like them doing a reboot of, uh. Fairly odd parents, and we don't get Doug Demidone when we're the Dinsdale Demidone. Just can't do it. Some things are beyond.